everybody. I'm Stefano Stabellini from Citrix. This is Julian Graal from Linaro. We are both working on Xenon ARM. And we are going to show you today the first cloud based on Xenon ARM. So you can see there two um, ARM based boards uh, the Armdale, that is a Cortex A15 based board, and the Versatile Express Cortex A15 on the side. So they're both based on ARM processors um, with virtualization extensions. Xen is running on both platforms. And what we're doing here is also we are running Open Nebula, that is uh, one of the common uh, stack uh, used by cloud providers to build a cloud that control hundreds and hundreds of um, hosts and thousands of VMs from a single control point. This will make it easier to go and install your VM and deploy it anywhere in, in, in the large amount of uh, hosts uh, that makes up the, the cloud itself. Now here we have only two hosts, so it's going to be the tiniest cloud uh, available, <laughs> but it's still a cloud, uh, and uh, Open Nebula as is fully featured. It's going to show you, uh, Julian is going to show you how to uh, manage the entire life cycle of uh, a VM through a single point, uh, through the single web interface that Open Nebula provides. It's worth noting that Open Nebula is not running here, it's not running on x86, it's actually running on one of the boards over there. So it's fully ported to ARM and is using Excel, that is a common uh, uh, tool stack uh, used by Xen to instantiate VMs and destroy VMs and manage VMs in general. Now I'll leave it to Julian to uh, show you uh, the, the web UI of Open Nebula. So here we have the dashboard of Open Nebula. It's a web interface where you can see every information of the cloud. Uh, you can have the list of the hosts with here two boards. One is the Arndal, the other one is the Versa Express. Uh, to create a virtual machine, you just need to go to the virtual machine tab and click on Create. So you need to give a name, Linux here. and then uh, select a template and ask, for example, to deploy to VM. So Open Nebula will deploy the VM on the different hosts automatically. Uh, to, so we can have multiple templates. Uh, the templates are, so we have created two small templates. One is a mini Linux with only VNC variables, and the other one is a mini, mini Linux net which is a network on inside with host, uh, sorry, with um, HTTP inside. So as you can see, the VMs are being created right now. Um, um, it takes a bit of time. However, they're already booting, and uh, soon they're going to be available. Um, Open Nebula does automatic load balancing, so uh, we have been creating two VMs. We have two hosts. Automatically, it's going to decide to create one VM on each host. Um, to get as many resources free as possible. But uh, it also has uh, a UI uh, able to connect to the VM. So if you click on, yes, on that more monitor, you can see actually uh, the virtual machine and control the virtual machine directly from here. So it's very handy, you can, it's very simple to use. Uh, and you can tell why people have been using it to, to manage hundreds of VMs at the same time. So now that we have already a VM fully booted and, uh, and ready to run, we can, for example, uh, show um, an enterprise application uh, in the cloud. OK, that's not exactly an enterprise application, but it's close enough. Um, as you can see, it works flawlessly. Everything is, is fine, as, as if it was on your desktop. Now, maybe we can show a real, <laughs> a real enterprise application, like a web server. Um, and we can deliver static pages from one VM to the other. Let's go to show the handle. Uh, here. So here we can retry the IP of the other board. So here you can see it's a 10.0.0.5. And we can get, uh, sorry. Yeah, as you can see, Xen is cool. 
Yeah, thanks to Xen, now we have uh, a virtualization capable system, two virtualization capable systems actually, and we can, that can be controlled by OpenEbula or other cloud management stacks flawlessly, exactly how, uh, how it works today on x86. I'll take the opportunity to remind everybody that Xen is an open source project. Uh, there is a strong community behind it. Citrix is part of it, as many other companies. We just released Xen for those three. There is a mailing list. Uh, we are very open to new members. So if you want to contribute, check out the code. Just go online and you can find all, all the information you need to read the code, contribute, send emails, send patches, and deploy Xen on uh, boards available out there today.